Alright, so as you guys may have noticed, I create lots of bots on this channel and in this video I just want to discuss something that's very important, which I find fairly obvious, but I realize that a lot of you probably won't. So let's get started immediately with what this video will be about. So in some of the past tutorials where I created bots for Instagram or for Facebook or for WhatsApp, I create this with the purpose of showing you how it can be done if you had to do it. I don't really create this with the purpose of making it an official solution because one thing you need to understand is when you're working with bots that go on Google or bots that go on Facebook or Instagram, these are very strict services that try to fight bots every single day. And usually if you do not do it correctly using their API or their approved methods, you're going to get your account banned. So it's very important that now that we're working with Selenium, for example, that you do not try to use Selenium for logging into Google accounts, for making Instagram bots, for making Facebook, because there's a very high chance they're going to look at it, say this is violating our terms and conditions, and they're going to ban your account. So that's the first thing I wanted to cover is that you really need to do some research whether your bot is violating the terms and conditions of the website you're working with. The reason why my WhatsApp bot is all right is because we're using Pi Auto GUI to manipulate the GUI, the mouse pointer and the keyboard from an external source, for example. And this is a desktop application. But of course, if you were to do this on Instagram and on Google, they are probably going to start noticing some patterns and that's what usually results you in getting banned. And the best way around this, if you want to do some Facebook chatbots, some Instagram chatbots, some Google chatbots, whatever, if you want to use these services, you really need to make sure you are reading their documentation. But I think the easier option, of course, is to use their API. And this can be a problem because sometimes the API requires money. And this is the case, I believe, for Facebook and Instagram. They require you to pay for their services. But I believe with the Google API, you have a lot more free usage on how you create these bots. So definitely make sure you use the Google API when you're working with Google services because you do not want your account to get banned for no reason. And especially, I mean, right now I'm making lots of videos on YouTube and I have an account with a few subscribers and I really want to avoid that from getting banned. So of course, the last thing I would do is test any of my bots using my official account. One thing that I definitely recommend when you're making any bots from any tutorial you find on the web is doing it with a test account. And also you should still be careful if it's a test account because sometimes this is linked to the same IP address, which means you might get a IP ban and that might actually link to your official account. So it's really important you keep these things into account when you're creating bots in Python because it's very easy to get banned on the internet and what makes a good bot creator is the ability to avoid these bans and to even create new bots very fast in case one gets banned. But the way I believe it works for companies that create very successful spam bots is that they have an account that is not touched by any bots. It's in a location that has a very clean IP address. It has a very clean record and it hasn't violated any terms of conditions. But what they do is create bots in different countries that lead to that site. So they have a clean website while these bots get reported and banned in different countries. So that's one option. If you can learn how to actually send your bots into different countries and leave your own account in a very clean place, there's a big chance you'll survive without getting banned. But uh, actually I'm making this video a lot longer than it should be. The main point was that you should always read the terms and conditions when creating a bot for a website. It doesn't matter what tutorial you watch on YouTube because there's a big chance that the person making the bot tutorial did not read the terms and conditions and that can always lead to a ban in your account. And on my part, I'm going to do my best in each video to explain whether this can possibly get you banned or not. But the main purpose of my channel is to show you how to do things in case you want to do it and to create your own program from the building blocks that I have provided because I'm never going to teach a full tutorial because that limits you a lot. The best thing you can do is learn how to use all the tools that there are out there and to create your own programs from that. But I believe that's actually all I wanted to share in this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to look at them. Otherwise, as always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.